After years of exchanging letters, Sonia dares to have dinner with Darren. The man who held her captive decades prior. The evening evokes flashbacks of the crime. Forcing Sonia to deal with the repercussions of a hostage falling. Hi, I'm Richard Young. I'm Christina Esposito. And we're here to talk to you about the film Captive Love. I came across this story a couple months ago when I read about four women who were held hostage for six days and they ended up feeling something for the men that held them captive. I found it really fascinating, um, A, how charming the story was, um, which is kind of the trap of the story in that, in that um, no matter how charming the situation, the fact of the matter is that this woman went through like an extremely traumatic uh, uh, situation. It's a film of contradictions. It's love discovered through pain, hope in desperate situations. A lot of times these movies always talk about or focus on what happens during the robbery or immediately after. But what happens after that? What happens when life moves on? We're literally showing the two times these characters have met face to face twice decades apart, so they're essentially meeting for the first time in two completely different situations. The, the format of the film, given that we are only playing this moment in the relationship, it's a very interesting thing to bring all of that back history to one scene and fill it up with all of that. It's going to be, um, it's going to be a, a good acting challenge, it is, I yeah. think. It's incredible that it's such a short film and you only get little snippets, but you really get the story and you understand that it's been decades and these two people have had some sort of relationship. Because of the themes in Captive Love, we wanted to find a way that we could give back to the community. We're donating part of the proceeds from this campaign towards a really great women's organization that we've partnered with. We also have a bunch of great perks to thank you for supporting Captive Love. I'm a big supporter, uh, uh, like Jennifer, of uh, young filmmakers. I mean, where are our filmmakers going to come from, if not from young filmers like filmmakers like this, and who need our support and they need your support? So get on board with Captive Love. Support Captive Love. It takes very little to yeah. make it happen. Be part of Captive Love. Show Captive Love some love. There's going to be a lot of people involved in this, and uh, you're going to feel great when you see the finished product. Thank you for being part of Captive Love.